Established in 1986 as the Halifax County South Boston Continuing Education Center, or CEC, this institution began in a two-room, 500-square-foot trailer on the grounds of the Halifax County Senior High School. At that time, there was no higher education presence in Halifax County, with the nearest community college or four-year university at least 30 miles away. Though the physical location was humble, the mission was anything but. Within 10 years, the center had built a solid college presence with a large number of community college classes available, as well as master's degrees that could be completed in Halifax County. The center's impressive growth resulted in two moves, one physical, the other organizational. From the two-room trailer, the CEC relocated to a 5,000-square-foot facility, while organizationally it moved under the purview of Longwood University, becoming an official off-campus site of the university. These changes were reflected in a name change to the Halifax County South Boston Continuing Education Center of Longwood College. The leaders of Halifax County, seeing the center's meteoric rise, recognized the need for strategic sustainability. Thus, the Halifax Educational Foundation was formed in 1997 with a 33-member Board of Trustees. The HEF is the primary supporter of the center. Its support and leadership is the primary reason for the center's strength, growth, and longevity. It was evident the center needed a much larger facility, one that could meet the current needs as well as allow for future growth and expansion. A STEM factory tobacco warehouse located in the heart of downtown South Boston was donated to the HEF by the Harris and Cannon families. No state funds went to the renovation of the facility, an extraordinary testament to the devotion of this community to its future and to its core belief that education is the catalyst for change. In 2001, the Halifax County South Boston Continuing Education Center moved to its current 70,000 square foot facility at 820 Bruce Street in downtown South Boston. To reflect the more expansive program focus and more regional outlook, the center was renamed the Southern Virginia Higher Education Center, or SVHEC. In 2005, the General Assembly passed legislation making the SVHEC an independent state higher education agency. This move allowed the SVHEC to exercise greater flexibility in the types of programs it brought in and the partnerships it formed. Today, the SVHEC is partnered with 11 colleges and universities providing more than 75 associates, bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degree programs. In addition, a robust special interest non-degree program provides a wide variety of opportunities for professional and personal development. More than 1,100 students utilize the center each semester to achieve their goals and enhance their lives. In January 2006, the SVHEC, as a state agency, hired its first executive director. Longtime supporter and advocate of rural education and the center, W.W. Ted Bennett, attorney and former Virginia General Assembly delegate, was chosen for the position. The center's programmatic expansion continues. The SVHEC houses an advanced manufacturing technology lab providing training and workforce development to the region. In 2006, the State Council for Higher Education of Virginia released a report calling for outreach to the K-12 school system and a fostering of the college-going culture. In direct response to that report, the SVHEC created CREED, the Center for Rural Education and Economic Development. CREED is a consortium of 22 school divisions across Southern Virginia and is the center's outreach arm to the K-12 school system. And initial courses in the SVHEC's signature program, the Business of Art and Design, began. These classes began with dual enrollment students from the high school in digital art and design and product design and development. Without a doubt, our community is at risk economically, culturally, and educationally as we have been for some time now. But everything we do at the Higher Ed Center, visioning, planning, and implementing, is designed to meet those challenges head on. From significant research and development and training in advanced manufacturing, 
to meriting the discipline of art, design, technology, engineering, and business. Under the program heading of the business of art and design, we will withstand the storms of these turbulent times. We know this community will not only endure the setbacks it has suffered, but we will prevail over the forces of economic upheaval, loss of jobs, plant closures, global competition, and loss of population. Our certainty comes from the knowledge that you and committed individuals who stand with you refuse to let our community die. Every one of our students who enters this building stands on your shoulders. Without you, neither their story nor ours would be possible. Your donations to the HEF have laid the foundation upon which hopes, dreams, and the future of this community can be built. The seeds you have sown will reap an unlimited harvest.